Hey, eat more toys. Back with another review. Bye. What we got today? Dead Mouse, Ron English, Grin. You might say, eat more toys. Don't you have like one or two of those? Nah, I got about eight or maybe ten of these. I lost count. And I had to get this one. It's nice. I like the design. I, I, I don't get tired of it. People that don't collect, they're like, that's dumb. Buying the same thing a couple of times. It sure, it sure the fuck is. But that's what we do. All right. And this is all vinyl. So you can be rough with it. Let's look at the header. Great, great, great art. Looks like one of his uh, dioramas that he makes. I'm talking about Ron English. This collaboration has been going on for a while. Does it say the year? 2017, so yeah, about five years. And they've made, I would say, about 20, if not more. And, and by that, I mean some have not been painted. They've just been blanks. I have a couple of those, so... It does count, but I like when they paint them because this toy has a lot of characters. So this is just a fire, the exhaust from the spaceship. The spaceship is supposed to fit just organically. There it is. There it is. See? And then you got the spaceman, in this case, Dead Mouse, who fits in perfectly. And this is his turntable spaceship, which I really love that design. You see the turntable stylus right there. And it actually has articulation. That's awesome. So here you have the character. Space suit. And Ron English gave it the grin treatment. Now this one in particular, I like because they painted it really gory look at all them gums and, and skull and dark red and they got the teeth they're clean and white but the gums are even redder or darker you see some splash on the teeth looks pretty nice the other design i like is a combination or coordination of orange red black stripes on the front on the back they really coordinated it well so i had to get it again i have a couple of these still like them all <laughs> this measures uh, about eight nine inches uh, you can get them at toy art gallery you can get them on ebay sometimes uh people flip them or, or just i don't know what's going on but I like them. I like them. They're pretty cool. They look good. Put together, apart, by themselves. This thing looks good. On top of this, I actually like it without it. I always fear that if this falls off a tall shelf, it'll break. And you can't find these after they're sold out. Now, the paint job on the spaceship is a little, it's a little off. You can probably see it on the blue. Just the blue. Yeah, they're a little, a little sloppy on that one. Oh, shit. A lot of sloppy on that. Might as well made it a burger, you know, with some cheese melting. But anyway, I don't paint, so I can't criticize. So, yeah, my guess is this whole three-piece toy is yellow. And, you know, they added the colors, white, then blue. In this case, uh, yellow. And then they just added the red, painted the blue last, the red, and then the black stripes. <clears throat> yeah, more than likely this is a uh, yellow originally, and then uh, red, white, red, orange, black stripes, detailed painted by hand, stenciled, stenciled, and then probably uh, hand painted as well as combination or airbrush and hand painted couple of layers and times. Yeah, this is pretty old. I like it. So our art 
toy art gallery always comes through. Ron English always comes through. So I appreciate them always making good art, good toys. <laughs> I can't read this out. It wants to fly, man. It wants to be free. So yeah, that's my review. This is a uh, dead mouse grin. You can only get it online. Toy Art Gallery. Ron English. Yeah. Peace.